Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your frames, stabilize FPS drops and lags in all new Clear Obscure Expedition 33. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end and do not skip any part for better performance. And with all that said, let's get started right away. Alright, step number one is the best windows settings and for that simply press on your windows key and then look for settings right over here. Head over to gaming and then game bar and you're gonna have to turn this thing off since game bar is an overlay service, keeping it on would be costing you your GPU resources. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background allowing you to gain extra performance. Click on the graphics button down to it and then you're gonna have to enable optimizations for windowed games. Games. This will help you to reduce all unwanted input delay and latency issues in the games. After that, you wanna have to click on the add desktop app button right over here and then go over to the Steam download location. Select your game folder, then head over to Sandfall Binaries Win64 and then select Sandfall Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on the add button. Once that is added, click on this drop down button and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Then optimizations for Windows games should be turned on and once that is done, head over to personalization then colors and right over here you'll find something called transparency effects you guys need to turn this thing off once all of that is done simply close your settings before moving ahead, I'd like to introduce you all to Wondershare Uni Converter, which is an amazing tool to upscale your content. You can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the software, it should look like this. And right over here, it has a very simple interface with a ton of tools integrated right within it. The application itself has many different useful tools, such as conversion between thousand plus formats. And as the name suggests, it also supports AI video enhancing and image enhancing, as well as text to speech and a lot of other useful full tools as well. It is very simple and easy to use for both beginners and experts and that is why it is my first choice. For example, I have an MKV file over here which I have recorded through my OBS and I want to convert it and upscale it to an MP4 file. What you have to do is simply click on the convert button and then simply drag and drop this file right over here. Now what you guys have to do is simply click on the video section, head over to MP4 and then select 4K video right over here. Then click on the settings gear and then for the frame rate select 60 FPS. For the sample rate go with 48,000 and the bit rate should be the highest. Click on the save button and then close it and now you have to click on the convert button. And this is how simple it is. They also have more tools in here where you guys can find video, audio and image related tools right over here and a lot of other cool stuff. I would recommend you guys to go check out Wondershare Uni Converter for yourself from the link in the description below. Now let us move ahead with the video. Next step is compatibility settings and for that you have to go to the download location of your game. Simply open up Steam and right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Right over here you'll find expedition 33 steamexe You're gonna have to right click on that, head over to its properties and then go to compatibility. Click on disable full screen optimizations, click on change high DVI settings, enable this option, ok and then apply it. Once that is done, head over to Sandfall, Binaries, Win64 and do the same for this application right over here. Properties, Compatibility, Disable Full Screen Optimization, Change High DPI Settings and enable this option. OK and Apply and this should reduce all kind of input latency in the games. Next step is disabling all background applications and for that you have to search for Group Policy Editor. Simply search for Edit Group Policy on your PC and once you are over here, head over to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, App privacy right over here you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background simply right click on it and head over to edit over here you need to enable the policy and then set the policy property to force deny all of the applications running in the background this will help you to free up a lot of your cpu and ram resources to help you improve the performance in the games once that is done simply close it next step is deanimating windows and this will help you to fix micro stutters simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once it opens up what you guys have to do is click on custom select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These options will help you to limit the animations of your windows and help you to improve the performance of your PC. After that, click on the apply button and the next step is setting up your virtual memory. Click on the advanced button and then select programs and other processor scheduling. Click on the change button and then uncheck automatically manage paging file size. Select your local disk C and then select 
custom size. For the initial size, set this thing to 1024, which is actually 1 GB. For the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator. I have currently installed 16 GB RAM on this computer, so I have to multiply 16 with 1024. This will give me my memory in megabytes. Divide this whole value by 2 and the new value that you get over here is should be written down right away. That is 8192. Click on the set button, click on OK. And this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Virtual memory is used by your PC when your RAM is completely occupied and your PC utilizes your storage device as a temporary RAM. Click on the apply button and then click on OK. Next step is MS config and for that simply search for MS config right over here and open up system configuration. Right over here, head over to services and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Then disable all kind of unnecessary services running in the background. Some of these includes browser update services, fan control services, RGB services and other unnecessary services. Know what you are doing and then click on the apply button. Once you're done with that, head over to the boot section and then click on advanced options. Select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on the OK button and then click on apply. Once that is done, click on OK and then click on exit without restart. This will help you to utilize all of the cores while your PC boots up. Next step is disabling all unwanted start up applications on your PC and for that press control shift and escape all together and your task manager will pop right in front of you. What you guys are looking for is a fourth panel right over here that is startup apps. Right away you will find all of the applications that are installed on your PC and right over here I would recommend you guys to disable as many applications as you can which you do not use right after the boot of your PC. This will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background once your PC boots up and it also helps you to reduce the last BIOS time. To disable these applications simply select the ones that you do not use. Right Click on that and then click on the disable button. Once again, leave the anti cheat applications like VG Tray because these are really essential to launch your games. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point, and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC. And once you're here, select your local disk C and then click on create. Name it something that you can remember it. I will name it CO for clear obstruct. Then click on the create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties. Next step is the clear obstruct FES pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In this pack, you'll find in six very useful folders, which I would not recommend you guys to skip. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority for both processors. I have an AMD CPU so I need to apply the AMD CPU priority for myself but it can be different for you so you can double click and apply whichever priority suits for your processor. Next one is the game priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. And for this I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Next is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM registries which are actually presets to your RAM. I have 16 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry on my PC and applying it is really simple. Simply double click to run it. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can reset it back to default right away. Fourth one is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. This will help you to disable all unnecessary power saving features on your PC. Simply right click and run it as administrator. And once you're done with that, double click to open up power plans. Over here, you'll find something called show additional plans. Simply click on that and then you'll have to select ultimate performance right away. Click on close and then go back. Fifth folder is unwanted services in which I have left a few services which are really useless for your PC. And disabling them will help you get extra performance. Some of these include disable core parking, downloading maps manager, disable transparency, Xbox services, threat priority and win32 priority separation. Over here, if you guys use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would recommend you guys not to run them. This will help you to boost your system's performance drastically. Last one is useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files .bat and it helps you to clean cache files of your PC. Right click on it and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press the enter button on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files right away. Once all of that is done, press enter and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. Once this software opens up, you're looking for your graphic card in this list. Select it and ensure that the MSI button next to it is checked. For the interrupt priority, select high and this will help you to set up the higher interrupt priorities which means that your GPU can handle more interrupts and improve the performance. Once that is done, simply apply and then click on close and then close this FES pack. Once all of that is done, I would recommend you guys to go into the game and do the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Right over here, head down to graphics and you'll find quick presets. 
I would recommend you guys to go and leave it to customs. For scaling type, you will find Zest in TSR and this is at least what I see. I believe that it also offers other options and if it does, I would recommend you guys to use NVIDIA DLSS if that shows up for your NVIDIA graphic card or use AMD FSR 3 once it is available. Right now, Zest is the only option that I am seeing, so Zest it is. For the scaling mode, I would recommend you guys to go with balanced or performance for extra FPS. Once again, the quality difference between performance and balanced is absolutely negligible. For max FPS, I have kept it unlimited. V-Sync is disabled. Display mode, I have gone with borderless windowed. But if you guys want, you guys can also go with full screen. Scroll a bit down until you find motion blur and strictly disable that. Filmic grain, chromatic aberration and vignette are actually story type effects and they do not cost a lot of GPU usage. Right beneath that, there is a rendering option in which anti-aliasing is set to medium, shadows I have kept it low, global illumination low, reflections medium, post-process low, textures high. You guys can reduce your texture a bit to improve your FPS, visual effects medium, foliage medium and shading medium. Once all of that is done, press F and then press yes. Once that is done, press your escape key and then you guys can go back to your game and enjoy highest FPS available right away. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 150,000 subscribers and I trust you all. So we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.